bus driver's refusal to stop for Muslim prayers sparks outrage in Turkey. Recently, a Turkish travel firm, um, Oz Ersis, came mm -hmm. under fire when one of their bus drivers refused to stop the vehicle so that a passenger could complete his daily Muslim prayers. The bus was traveling from the Van region near the Iranian border to the city of uh, Izmir, taking over 24 hours. The company responded to the man's complaint on Twitter, saying, quote, none of the rights defined by Turkey's constitution can be used to violate the democratic and secular conception of the republic. The reply went viral and sparked a backlash. According to the travel firm's lawyer, uh, Tunke uh, Kesersi, quote, it is not possible to ignore the rights of other passengers who do not want to pray and who want to arrive at their destination on time for a passenger to pray. He further explained that they respect all beliefs and they feel that they are being singled out as a target. The travel firm even suggested that the passengers could wait until the bus stopped at a rest area for their prayers. The bus company's stance drew some support while hardline Muslims vowed to boycott. Imagine the audacity. How full of yourself must be that everybody in this bus has to wait the entitlement me, the entitlement oh my god fuck this guy and they like buzz hurt that this didn't happen they're but they're legally challenging this bus company because they didn't make everybody wait for me to finish my prayer are you like i'm i'm surprised they didn't slap you i'm surprised <laughs> that what are you oh my god these people Religious entitlement is the worst kind of entitlement. I'm telling you. It is it's a not, sickness. <laughs> it's on a different level. Oh my God. Jesus Christ, these people. But we can pray on the goddamn bus. I know it will turn and you will like, you could like, you know, but it will be accepted. God will be like, yeah, sure. I didn't like. You were like, I couldn't do it. I was on a bus. I was just, you could just sit on your chair and go like this. There are ways they make you, they give you out their ways to like do like on a plane, for example, how do you pray on a plane? Do the same thing on a bus. They have ways, like they have the way, ways out. Like they tell you like, okay, this is how you pray on a plane because you can't like, and the, you know, so why don't you do the same thing on the goddamn bus? Wait, there are special ways to pray on planes. Yeah, you go like, you don't have to get up and like, you know, you could just be unseated. You could go like hello, right there. Go like that. Oh, interesting! I didn't know this. Yeah, you could do a seated, so, which is like which bothers me because on a because I know you could do a seated if you have to. So sometimes on a plane, like the Muslims go and they block the area, like right oh next to the God. washroom, and in they the start aisle. praying and in the aisle, and nobody can move. I'm like, dude, I know you're allowed to do it seated if you have to. So you could have done this on your seat, but you have to just, you have to just block us all for a, for half an hour because you just couldn't do it seated. There are people trying to pee here. <laughs> yeah, I know, exactly. Like, I don't know if anybody has ever tried to just like jump over them. That would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I mean, I guess Yo, the issue. Oh my God, if I was in that situation, I would have to. Like, when you have to go, yeah. you have to go. This is not negotiable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like to bounce. But what's so interesting thing... is that apparently, uh, wait, we put this in the article that we wrote. Yeah, the, so the firm was like, you can wait until we reach a travel the rest station to do your prayers and this doesn't go against tradition, quote, as the Quran specifically mentions shortening or combining prayers while traveling. Yeah. You're being even more, more of a jackass than Islam itself, which is so much. Even Muhammad was like, okay, look, we travel a lot. We migrate a lot. Okay. We can't keep on stopping everyone. Our whole freaking hajj <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> for prayers and five times a day. Okay. We got to keep I it moving across this desert so we can, we can do it later. It's fine. <laughs> And they did that while everybody was a Muslim. Like they were like, we're in a caravan. Everybody's a Muslim. We can't do it five times a prayer. This guy wants to stop people who are not even praying. This guy wants to stop people who are not even Muslim. Muhammad didn't even stop the entire caravan, even though they were all Muslim. Mother, this, like it's, it's, it's a, 
it's a big accomplishment for you to be a bigger jackass than Muhammad. You know, not that many people can do it. But this man has managed to accomplish this. It's this like Jeez. religious entitlement. Like people are so used to having their beliefs and practices privileged above other things yeah. that they just expect it to always be the case. And they're like, actually, no, people got shit to do, man. Yeah. The world doesn't think, revolve around you and like what, you, yeah, and your beliefs. I think the main issue this might, guy might have is that the bus turns, right? And because the bus turns, if you are started in the, in the you know, towards the <laughs> Mecca, and now all of a sudden, like in the mid prayer, now you're moving that way and now you're not facing Mecca anymore. Okay. Oh, shoot. You're right. Yeah. Okay. But, but it's, would your prayers still be accepted? Because I know that there was a situation where there were people who calculated the direction to Mecca wrong, like the entire time. And then they've discovered no, that it was it wrong would, the entire time. No, and they're like, oh it, yeah, no, it's it fine. It was still accepted. It would be accepted as long as you made the intention. Like, it's not like, yeah. I mean, they're not going to be like, oh my God. I can't believe I'm defending um, Islam over this because like against most, this guy <laughs> against this guy like islam is not as not as bad as this jacket anyways oh my god get my best-selling book why there is no god for free click on the link for it in the description